Mars. Cold, heat, dust, smoke, thin atmosphere. Why do we put up with so much? At an average distance of 225 million kilometers from Earth, the planet Mars is known as the Red Planet. Many civilizations have given it names. The Egyptians called it the Red One, and Chinese astronomers called it the Fire Star. The main reason why Mars has been given such reddish names is because of the abundant iron minerals and dust on its surface. So how far have we come in the latest exploration of Mars? What is NASA doing about it? After looking at the images shared by NASA, I examined some topics in detail, and I thought it would be useful for you. Curiosity, NASA's largest and most capable rover sent to Mars in 2011, continues to satisfy the curiosity of people who are curious about space objects. In this video, I will share with you remarkable and never before seen images from the surface of the red planet. Our recent progress allows us to take firm steps towards the future. These images are considered to be one of the most important steps in human history towards exploring space. Launched on November 26, 2011, and landed on Mars on August 6, 2012, Curiosity's main goal is to determine whether Mars supports microbial life. Curiosity, which is still active, is transmitting important information to us from Mars. So what has this rover done since the day it landed? During the mission, Curiosity obtained important information about whether Mars used to have water and whether it was inhabited. However, the discovery of sulfur deposits on the planet also attracted attention. This is the first time this has been seen on Mars. On Earth, this kind of sulfur is usually... Researchers think this data could offer new clues about Mars' potential for ancient life. The rover also found a spider web-like formation formed by the influence of ancient... Since its landing, Curiosity has traveled 33 kilometers so far and continues to do so, despite the difficult terrain and the great distance. It is currently on the western edge of the Gates Vallis Channel and conducting geological research. Before leaving the Geddes Valley Channel for its final surveys, Curiosity recorded a 360-degree panoramic image. This image impressed scientists. After analyzing this information for a long time, some remarkable things emerged. This was a feature that the spacecraft had been investigating for a year. Now let's explore these discoveries. I will tell you about three discoveries. Traces of ancient waters, solving the sulfur mystery, and spider webs on Mars. Can you imagine lakes and rivers on Mars billions of years ago? According to the rover, the Geddes Vallis Channel at the base of the five kilometer high Mount Sharp could provide important information. Although the ancient layers on Mount Sharp were formed in a dry climate, the presence of the channel suggests that water occasionally flowed through the region when the climate underwent a significant change. By studying the 360 degree panoramic image, scientists understand that rivers Rivers, wet debris, flows, and dry avalanches all left their mark. It takes ingenuity to solve a mystery, but it takes even more ingenuity to solve a mystery 225 million kilometers from where you are. Scientists working on this subject are trying to find answers to the big questions underlying the widespread of sulfur stones. The presence of small particles of sulfur in the information received excited everyone. Instruments on the rover confirmed that the particles found were pure sulfur, but how and why this happened is still a matter of curiosity. We looked at the sulfur field from all angles, from the top and from the side, and looked for anything mixed with sulfur that might give clues about how it formed. We collected a ton of data, and now we have a fun puzzle to solve, said Ashwin Vasavada, Curiosity's project scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. Moving along the western edge of the Gades Valley Canal, the rover recorded a few more panoramic images before completing the mission. At a glance, the boxwork looks like spider webs stretching across the surface. Mount Sharp is believed to have formed when minerals carried by recent water pulses settled into cracks in the surface rock and then hardened. 
As parts of the rock eroded away, what remained were minerals that cemented themselves in the crack, leaving a web-like boxwork. But what's interesting here is that these cobweb-like structures form on Earth, on cliff edges, and in caves. But when we look at Mars, the box-like structures of Mount Sharp are different from them, both because they formed as water disappeared from Mars and because they cover an area of 6 to 12 miles. Kirsten Seabash explained. These ridges will contain minerals that crystallized in the warmer subsurface, where salty liquid water flows, she said. Early Earth microbes may have survived in a similar environment. This makes it an exciting place to explore. Yes, it's very interesting and full of mystery. Indeed, this information that we are getting from Mars shows how interesting it is. It has excited a lot of scientists, people who are curious, people who want to be scientists in the future, or people who want to be the first people to go to Mars. So what kind of scientific explanation is being given about these issues? These pure sulfur crystals are one of the most surprising discoveries we have ever made on the surface of Mars. Previously, we have only found sulfur in combination with other elements. The fact that it is pure sulfur requires us to understand a new chemical process. This is one of the things that makes planetary exploration so exciting. We can say that these crystals are like an oasis in the desert. Such a pure and rare material raises new questions about chemical processes on the Martian surface. Of course, this research comes at a cost. It is estimated that a total of $50 billion has been spent on this research so far. What is the purpose of doing this? Why are they spending so much money? The main purpose of research on Mars is to prepare for manned missions. As a result of the examination of the samples found by Curiosity, if there are favorable conditions after humans go to Mars, it may open doors we have never known. Yes, we want to go there. Finding factors that confirm that life existed there millions of years ago would allow new scientific models to be developed by comparing them with processes on Earth. In 2012, the Curiosity rover landed on Mars, and the interesting and mysterious information it sent back to Earth is leading to the advancement of technology. Because more information requires more equipment, better cameras, and better analysis technologies. Everything is evolving. Space science is one of them. Space is such a place that there is no end to development. Stars, planets, black holes, each one of them has a history so full of mystery that we cannot even comprehend it. Are there other examples of life besides us? Or are we alone in this universe? More and more discoveries are being made on Mars every day. A journey that expands the imagination of not only scientists, but all of us. So what do you think about this? Is there really life on Mars? Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Imagine.